Hi, this is Elizabeth from kasewa.blogspot.com and if you happen to have looked at the video I had posted about the trip I took last spring to Yosemite in Las Vegas, the travel journal, you would have noticed that I do things like this to mark the separate days. So I tend to really like in my journals to demark one day from another and there's many ways you can do that. And one of the things I thought about was how can I make this as simple as possible? I didn't want to use, um, you know, stickies. I did not want to use rub-ons, which annoy me for some reason. And I thought, well, you know, why not try labels? So here's what they look like. So on day two, for example, it looks like that. Here's one for day three. Here's one for day five. They are really simple to make and you can customize them in any way and let me show you how. It all starts with the humble Avery labels. So you can find these in any uh, office supply store. There are little labels that are used to print out mailings and uh, addresses and things like that. And I happen to have a stack of these lying around. I also had a stack of refillable printer inks. I tended to do that for a printer that I no longer have. So I had a stack of these inks lying around and uh, waiting for a project. You would also need a brush and, you know, my refillable printer inks came with this little syringe to kind of draw the inks up. So that's basically what you need for the project. So all I did was pick the colors of ink I wanted to use used the syringe and just dabbed a couple of drops around the place and basically squished around with a brush and you can see that this is what the page turns out like. So on this image I think you can see the actual uh, separations of each label. If you look at those little lines, those faint lines actually demark where each label separates from the other. Now, you know, you can make this any color, any pattern, however you would like it and you basically have something that's really fun to use. So for the next step what I do is once I have this done I go ahead and use the software that comes with Avery. You can find that free online or you can use any processing word processing um, pr uh, program you happen to have on your PC or Mac and I go ahead and decide what I actually want to have in these labels. Now if you remember the ones I showed you earlier for the trip I took last year after I had done, gotten to this stage where I had gotten all the color down, I just basically went ahead and stamped the day and then wrote in the number with a stencil. It took too long. I figured there's got to be a way to make that easier. And this is what I came up with, just going ahead and figuring out what I wanted online with a software program on your PC or online, as I said earlier. And what I do is I go ahead and print it out so I can make sure that the things or the, the information I have on each label is actually placed accurately. And what I do then is I take the printed paper with the colored labels and I stack them up one behind the other. Now it's kind of hard to see in this particular video, but if you can notice, you can actually see the text showing through and you'll be able to see if they are aligned correctly within each particular label or if some further tweaking is a lot, is required. When, I, when it's printed, this is what it looks like. So we went from a blank sheet of paper, the, the test, uh, just regular printer paper sheet, just make sure that the positioning was correct. And then here's what that particular sheet looks like when it's printed on the actual label maker on the actual um, label sheet, I mean. So this is what that looks like and if you look at it up against the light you can see how each one of these shows up on its own distinct label and it's really easy to then peel off and attach to your, into your journal. Now I'm making this for an upcoming trip to Turkey so you can see that some of the things that I have there are all locations that I'm going to be visiting in Turkey. So anyways, that's a very simple, quick and easy way to create your own custom labels that you can attach to your journals with any information that you want. And if you have any questions, feel free to let me know and I'll try to answer them. Thanks again for watching.